What's going on boys? Welcome everybody back to another Objectives Guide. We've got a Team of Season Barala Objectives Guide out. Now we're going to get a Team of a Season. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. Is it Kakado? Kachado? I, I don't know boys, but I'll have a look in a minute actually how to pronounce his name properly. But a 91 rated, let's just go with Kakado for now. Looks a very, very solid card. It is all offline. It's a little bit time consuming because it is all in squad battles. And as you guys will see in a minute, it will take at least 10 squad battle matches, which is 6 minutes a half. It's 15 minutes a game. So 15 times 10. It's going to take you guys roughly 150 minutes, which isn't too bad, which is what, two and a half hours. So this is a two and a half hours grind if you do decide to do it offline. If you guys are new to V-Series, what we do is we go over all these objectives. I give you guys uh, my tips and tricks on how to complete it fast. And I also do build a little bit of a team between 20 and 30,000 coins to help you guys speed up the process. So boys, let's just get straight into it. Score two headers in squad battles on at least professional difficulty. Doesn't have to be in separate matches, so you can get the two headers done in the same match. Uh, assist using center forwards in three separate squad battle matches on at least professional difficulty. I usually have questions on these type of objectives. Center forwards means if you play a center forward at striker or a striker at center forward, it does not work. So you have to be playing a center forward as a center forward. So I'll give you guys that formation with obviously the center forwards there in a minute. Score using Serie A players in six separate squad battle matches and score a finesse goal in 10 separate squad battle matches on least professional difficulty. So it looks like, okay, no, world class. We've got four of these challenges on professional and just this one on world class, but you may as well do them all on world class just to save yourself, obviously, like an extra hour and a half, so you don't have to do this one uh, as well. So boys, honestly, it looks like you just want to build like basically a full Serie A squad, but at the same time, you don't have to. But like, like I said, we're going to build a squad between 20 and 30,000 coins. And you can do these in division rivals as well, lads, but I would always recommend doing it in squad battles because it is a lot easier. As you can see, that was our Barala squad builder. So I'm just going to make a new one. I'm not too sure how to spell his name once again. Um, but we're just going to build a new squad with Tots. And like I said, you need that center forward. So we need to find a formation with that center forward position. And I already know. I think it's like the 4 3 3 second variation, I believe it is. Uh, I know it's very reliable. Your center forward kind of drops back, but he also gets forward quite a lot as well. Yeah, here we go. So a 4 3 3 fifth variation. I'm going to build you guys a team between 20 and 30k. Let's do it. Right, boys, so as you can see, we have gone just for a full Serie A side. You can do whatever side you want. You only need at least like one Serie A player to actually get the goals. So you can have any side you want. But I mean, if you use, if you're basing it off of one Serie A player, you may as well build a full Serie A team. So this team is coming in at roughly twenty thousand coins. At left wing, we have got Jorvino, and at centre forward, as I said, we have got Verdi. And it was between Verdi or that Cicado, I believe it is the one who's actually got this objectives. And Verdi, I feel like, is a more meta card. Eighty nine agility. 90 balance, 4 star, 5 star. This card looks genuinely insane for a 77 rated. At right wing, it is going to be Herving Lozano, the man himself. Left centre mid is going to be Barala. CDM is going to be Zielinski. And at right centre mid, it's going to be Bernadeschi. Right back is Bruno Perez. Centre back is Tamori. Left centre back is Smalling. We've got Craig Nolan net. And the left back, we are limited because we've got Theo Hernandez, but he's like 5k because he's currently got a team of a season. So Rodriguez, let's have another look at a few objectives but like I said this is a team that you want to be building to help you guys out so let's have a look at the objectives I literally it's very 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 easy objectives all it is is just time consuming so once again heading in squad battles it can be with any player you gotta try to get those headers and honestly Verdi it will be a challenge trying to head with him as he is like five foot eight or five foot nine but if you keep trying and delivering the ball with the wingers that's a good thing of the fifth variation of the four three three you'll have your wingers constantly forward and you can keep whipping that ball in to try and get that header off of Verdi Verdi. Assist using centre forwards, obviously just trying to assist goals with Verdi. Score using Serie A players in six separate matches, that can be anyone in the whole team, and score a finesse goal. So realistically, you just want to be trying to get two headers, whether it's in the same match or whether it's not, but you want to try to get finesse goals and assists with Verdi, and that is literally it. But genuinely, that is it, and it's very easy. At 5 nil up, you can jam your controller, etc, etc. So the second tip is going to be the bench. You can have any bench you want. You can literally have, there's no bench restrictions so if you want you could sub on like for me it'll be team of year bruno team of season benzema tots harland you know uh road to final hazard i could have whatever bench you want you can sub any players on as well third tip is going to be chem styles you guys might not have chemistry styles on you or lots of you guys will have some but it might not be the correct ones that you'd usually use but chemistry styles are a huge help 
For example, take Verdi, a 77 rated card. Now if I have a look at his actual, his card on Footbin, I'm going to apply just a random chem style, like you could probably go for a Hunter, but if you guys obviously don't want to dash out money on a Hunter, with a Hunter he goes to an, uh, an 80 rated center forward, so he go, gets a plus 3 boost in game. We could go with, let's say, a finisher, he goes to a 82 rated center forward, an 82 rated cam. So obviously you do not have to go out and buy the correct chem styles, but chemistry styles will significantly make them feel better in a game. Now the third tip is going to, or the fourth tip, sorry, is just going to be for the squad battles. Now, obviously, squad battles, you need to be playing them on world-class difficulty, and I mean, world-class difficulty usually isn't too challenging, but as you can see, every single game, you get to face these shitty teams. For example, I beat this team 7-0, and it was a really, really rubbish team. They're playing a right mid on, like, two chemistry a striker, and what you want to do as soon as you keep playing one match, you can just keep refreshing it, and you keep getting given some shit team. So this is an 86 rated squad with 50 chem which is relatively, uh, it's not, okay, no, so that's just on the bench. So like I said, you keep getting shit teams every time you refresh it. You can easily beat this one. They're playing Vasquez and Arvizca. So you can, that's definitely beatable on world class. And after you do decide to play that game, you'll have the option to refresh it again. You can refresh and it'll give you another four teams. Sometimes you can get two really low rated teams. So I would try avoid playing these 89 rated squads with full chem on world class difficulty because it is actually quite a bit of a challenge. But if you do like a target of a really low Kim or the shitty teams, you'll be absolutely fine. And after you play the 40 games or after you've used all your 10 refreshes, do not worry. I have been asked this a lot. It still does count towards your objectives. No worries at all. It still counts. Uh, it literally just means that you stop getting points towards your squad battles rank. For example, I'm at gold free squad battles. If I go past that 40 games limit, it will stop counting towards that rank free. I won't be able to get elite or anything like that. But boys, honestly, this is a very, very easy objective. Do I think it's worth it? 100%. You've got a 91 rated card. I have a little bit of a brief review for you guys as well. Um, obviously, I'm probably not going to complete this card, but a little bit of a brief review over his stats, just you know, maybe make you guys mind up. So he has a center forward. He's got four star, four star. I believe he's got a skill moves or a weak foot boost here as well. Four star, four star, six foot. He's rapid. His shooting's phenomenal. Passing solid. Dribbling is actually really solid, and his physical is solid. He's got a flair trait. Genuinely, nothing much wrong with him. I'll definitely say he's usable as well. You guys could definitely use him in your team if you wanted to not a bad card whatsoever boys hopefully this video did help you out and let me know down below if you guys got any questions um i'll try to get back to all of them i usually do respond within 24 hours i'm gonna get this video out in sleep though so i might not see it for like another eight hours or so so but boys hopefully you did enjoy hopefully this did help make sure to sub if you're new and until next time i'll see you guys all later peace out lads